So it's been a month or two since I've last been out on the kayak for a proper fishing mission. The weather in New Zealand has just been terrible lately. So I haven't been able to get out there, but this weekend, finally, we've been blessed with some good weather. We've got two days in a row of absolutely mint weather. So I've made it up here to uh, Northland to a spot most of you probably have either been to or know about. And um, I'm heading out offshore. I'm going out wide. Gonna do some bottom fishing today. Originally I wanted to do some sort of bait and live baiting, but I really struggled to get some live baits or kahawai on the way out for bait. So uh, plan B is to head out, do some slow pitch jigging. I can actually see some birds working up ahead of me. So I'm gonna go and see if there's any bait hanging under them. But if not, we'll get out wide and start doing some slow pitch jigging on some pins. So I'll see you guys out there. Come on, come on. Looks like these are kahawai. Oh yeah, there they are. Come on. Surely, surely one of these is going to take my, my bait. Maybe they're feeding on krill and maybe I need to downsize my lure. Can't really be bothered though, to be honest. Taking off my uh, soft bait and changing it out. All right, first drop of the slow pitch jig and we're hooked up. It's a very small fish though. Could just be a uh, golden snapper or something. Yep, as predicted, golden snapper. It's a nice goldie. It's, it's definitely an eater, but I think I'm going to put this guy back today. Nice to see the jigs working, first drop. All right, we've got something big on. That was a really solid hit. Oh, this might be a kingfish. Oh, it's going straight for the reef. Oh yeah, it's a kingy. It's got to be a kingy. That is a big fish. Oh, I can't stop it. There's nothing I can do. Can't stop it. Drag's maxed out. Come on, this is what it's all about. There we go, getting it off the bottom. Oh, it's not done yet. Not done yet. Yeah, it's definitely a kingfish, big tail beat. It's the beauty of slow pitch jigging. You never know what's gonna turn up. You know, one minute I was catching tiny golden snapper, next minute, a ripper of a kingfish on. There's a lot of weight behind this fish. Really struggling just to get it up. Oh, there we go, it's taking off again. Come on. The other factor is, out here, there are pretty big sharks. So, not only have I now have to get it up and stop it from getting onto the reef, but gotta make sure, oh, there it goes, look at that. There's no stopping it. Another huge run. Also have to make sure it doesn't get hit by the sharks on the way up. Last time I was out of this spot, I had a Marco shark try and take a snapper. 
from me halfway through the water column. So big kingfish like this, putting up a uh, hefty scrap. That's a recipe for sharks. Shit, this has got to be a good fish. That's a third, third run it's done. It's a lot of weight to it, that's for sure. Might just back the drag off slightly now that we've got it up off the bottom. Would hate to see this, hate to lose this fish because of line failure. I'm running pretty light line on the setup. 40 pound uh, pen slammer braid. It's great stuff, but when you're fighting fish this big, if that line comes anywhere near rocks or anything sharp. Could be game over. Now I can see that fish coming up on the sounder. It's at 20 meters off the bottom and I'm in 70 meters of water. So I've got a long way to go. Few moments later. Oh, here it is, right under the kayak. Beautiful kingfish. It's a really nice kingy. It'd be right up there with my best kingfish, I'd say. Yeah, it'll definitely be up there with my PB. And he's not done yet either. Now, I haven't actually kept the kingfish in a long, long time. So on the off chance we don't catch anything else today, I think I might actually take this guy home. Now that's really lucky. There's two hooks on that jig. One of them caught the kingy in the side of it, in the side of the fish, and it's actually broken off. <laughs> so that last hook has stayed, stayed strong in the fish's mouth, and that's actually the, uh, the uh, stinger hook, and it's quite a light gauge hook, so I'm surprised it didn't snap off. Oh, we've got a big albatross over here as well, coming to uh, see what's going on. All right, I'm gonna sink a gaff into this fish and get it on board. There we go, gaff's in. Gonna back that drag off. Right in the rod holder. Everybody, let's get this guy on. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably my personal best kingfish. That's <laughs> a real nice eat. There we go. Kingfish landed. That's a solid fish. Big fat tail on it. Don't know what that's going to weigh in at. I'm guessing it's, it's well over 10 kilos. But uh, I don't know if it quite hits 15, so it's at somewhere in that range anyway. I'm stoked that is. It's going to be a mean feed and uh, just stoked. It's been so long since I've got a kingy, so awesome to have this one on board. All right, I'm going to put this one out of its misery, get a new jig on there with some new hooks on that jig, and uh, keep jigging away. Okay, we're back on. To another fish, I've moved spots. This one doesn't feel that big, might just be a big golden snapper. I've caught a few golden snapper in the meantime as well. All of them are fairly small though. I'm actually contemplating taking one or two of them to use as bait. I don't know if Hapuka or deep sea fish would like a <laughs> golden snapper, but worth a shot. Ah, oh, what? You are kidding! Not a golden snapper, not a golden snapper at all. It's a Trevelli. It's a really nice one. I'm in bloody over 80 metres of water and <laughs> I've caught a beautiful Trevelli. Well, that's definitely coming on board. There we go. Check that out. Stoked. That was the last thing I was expecting to catch out here. A really nice Trevelli. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, as criminal as this might sound, I'm actually quite tempted to use this guy for bait and get some really nice big slabs of bait off this guy and uh, they would make good bottom fishing baits. Sounds terrible, but given I've already got that big kingfish, I think that's what we're going to use this guy for, a bit of bait. Okay, another really good fish has hit the, uh, hit the jig. Not sure what this one's going to be. Doesn't really feel like a kingfish. But there's a bit of weight to it. Yeah, it's definitely not as big as that kingfish. It's a massive hit on the jig though. It's probably... Oh, oh no, okay, I think that might be a kingy. <laughs> yeah, that's feeling like a kingfish. Are they going to be a kingfish or a big snapper? Right, here it comes, what's it going to be? Yeah, it looks like a small kingy. Much smaller model than the uh, last one I caught. Get the hook out and uh, send this guy back to the bottom. There we go. Away it goes. Meanwhile, Mr Albatross is back here, wondering if he's going to get a feed. Sorry mate, no food for you unfortunately. Maybe if we get another golden snapper you can have one of those. Okay, good fish on. Oh, dropped it. Damn. That actually felt like a snapper or something at least something that at least wasn't a kingfish. Got him. Okay, straight back on. Whatever this is, definitely is nowhere near as big as that last fish. But we're hooked up. Fishing's just been on fire today, especially with the slow pitch jigging. Pretty much every drop it's getting smashed. Ah, uh, drop that one too. I wonder if it's actually Trevelli down there and I'm putting a bit too much hurt on them. Could be. Maybe I'll take it a little easier on the next fish. Well that time it got hit just on the way down. Now I'm going to take it a little easier this time in case this is a Trevelli. Doesn't really feel like a Trevor. Quite curious to see what this is going to be. I'll back the drag right off and I'm just taking it nice and easy. Okay, here it comes, what have we got? Ah, not a Trevelli, not a golden snapper, a ordinary snapper. Pretty nice sized one. How's that for a nice Northland snapper? Got no reason to keep this guy, so I'm gonna get these hooks out and send them back. There's one, two, and away he goes. Alrighty, here we go. First drop with the Trevelli baits. Hopefully it's worth it. We'll find out. Okay, so the weather's turned uh, not so nice. Probably blowing 10 or 12 knots now. But the good news is, we've hooked our first fish on the Trevelli. Doesn't feel like a monster, but hey, it's something. My pick is that it's gonna be a snapper. 
Okay, here it comes. We're getting a bit of line angle. Yeah, snapper. There you go, pinned in the corner of the mouth. Oh, look at that. Spewing up. Uh, well, I'm not actually entirely sure what that is. Looks like uh, some kind of jelly like substance. All right, there it is. Nice snapper. And away it goes. Alrighty, straight back into another good fish. Feels even bigger than the last one. I think there's going to be another snapper. Here it comes. What have we got? Yeah, another snapper. Man, that's a nicey. All of these fish are a really good eating size. But don't really need any more fish today, so another one to go back. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got a big old shark on the end here. I'm out in over 100 metres now, so it's going to be a long way to pull this guy up. Here it comes. What have we got? Yeah, lovely big shark. Nurse shark by the look. Challenge will be getting this hook out. Should be able to do it. There we go. Oh no, don't get hooked on the next hook. <laughs> there we are. One big shark landed. Yeah, I think I've lost my sinker in the process. Yes, I have. Now that's a bugger. <laughs> Wow, I just had a school of tuna come right up to the kayak. I could see them all jumping out of the water. I cast a lure in, my soft bait. Oh, and literally as soon as it hit the water, got smashed. I'm quite interested to see what type of tuna these are. Ah, oh, just skippies. Well actually, I might keep this guy. That will be bait for tomorrow. The real question is what's chasing these guys around? Oh, they're busting up over to my right. It's quite tempting actually to put a lure out. Might whack this guy on board and then chuck a lure out actually, run over that school. Man, he's all lit up. The colours are awesome. Skippy on board. I don't know if the camera will be picking this up, but you can actually hear them all jumping around the kayak. Pretty cool. There he is, one skippy. Nice fat little skippy caught on the power bait. And I'm going to get a lure out, tie it around these schools, see if there's something bigger down there chasing them up. Well, no takers on the lure and uh, running out of sunlight here. So I'm going to start making my way back in now. Weigh this coking fish, fill it up and uh, hit the hay before doing this all again tomorrow.
Ready, moment of truth. How much is this fish going to weigh? There we go, 13.27. So pr pretty much bang on where I guessed it would be. Start with that, it's a new PB. check out those scenes another beautiful day here in Northland but unfortunately yesterday's pedals got the better of my legs um, feeling it this morning for sure so I'm gonna wrap this mission up early and head back home thanks for watching this video though and I'll see you on the next one